Okay, Tom. So this is the last days, last days of training, last days of uh, laughing with each other on the pitch, mm -hmm. and uh, you did it for 20 years, almost 20 years. Yes. How do you feel? Emotional, to be honest. It's been a, a long, a long journey that uh, has gone like like that. Uh, to be honest with you, it's. it's really doesn't seem long ago since I was um, leaving school at uh, 16, just yeah, around 16, to uh, to go and play full-time at Reading. Um, and then before you know it, the, the, this day has come. So I remember being a younger lad in a changing room and looking at the older guys retiring and thinking, oh, they're old. And now, yeah, now, now is my time. It's the right time. I've, I've been incredibly lucky, mate, to, to have had to do what I dreamt of for so long um, at a top level and yeah, I, I, I'm a lot of emotions but uh, I'm feeling quite grateful I think is the way to describe it. Um, this interview is different than this uh, from two, three years ago when you were leaving PIAS for the first time yes. but uh, you are leaving now football for, for, the, uh, for the long and why did you decide to, to end up in the career? I just think the timing's right. I think um, I've not played as much over the last year and a bit. Um, I've spent all my career pretty much playing all the time and, uh, until the last year and a year or so. And the timing of it, the you know my contract coming to an end, um, my family, the age they are, and 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 looking at schools and and all that type of stuff for, for my family and. You know, my wife has been on the road with me for, for 17 years since we, since we left London. So it's uh, a lot of different factors, a, a lot of a lot of thought has gone into it. Um, I, I've known for a while, to be honest, it would, would probably be my last season. Um, so, um, yeah, and then, and then the opportunity that, that is, is in front of me that I, I've got offered to do is uh, seems to be like the, the, the right timing um, for everything. Like I, I don't want to, <clears throat> I've never wanted to, to push my career to a point where I end up playing at a level that I don't necessarily enjoy just, just to, just to play. I love football. I will always love football. I, I never want to stop playing, but I also appreciate a lot that I can retire at a good level where I can run around with my kids. I can go on ski holidays, which I've never been able to do with my kids. I can do all these things that you know some some footballers aren't fortunate enough to do. You know they they pick up injuries or, for example, my dad said he's always said to me he played for two years too long and and now has a lot of knee, hip, ankle problems and lots of swelling all the time. So I I think is uh, yeah it's, it's been a lot of different thoughts. It's been a, it's been a long process to be honest with you this this last year of of deciding about my future and um, I'm very happy and, and and content with the decision I made. I've not got any any regrets or feel like I'm, I'm stopping too soon or anything like that. Do I feel like I could play another year maybe, but I also want to en en enjoy enjoy my life. And um, yeah, I'm incredibly grateful for what I've achieved and the career I've had. And for sure now is, is the best, is the, the, the right time. Basing on this, what you said, it's time for for some new challenges. And uh, is it harder to to start a new job, uh, to to um, uh, to face uh, these new challenges, or, or or to end up a career? Uh, there is more excitement to, to go into something a little bit new. Um, I've been offered a, a job at my agency that I'm with in the UK to um, be, become an, an agent for them. Um, probably working more on the European side of the game and it, it, it brings excitement to me more than, than nerves. I feel like I could, I could help a lot, um, try and bridge a gap between Europe and England or, you know, the UK. 
there's a lot of good young young talent in Poland, and you know I, I know what it's like to to move abroad, to to live abroad, adapting to different cultures, as well as trying to maintain a standard of playing. Uh, and I feel like you know my agency have, have, have got players across Europe in the in the Premier League, in the Championship, in the top leagues across Europe and, and America also. So it's. I feel like it's something that I will enjoy having the contacts that they've got using using the the knowledge the experience that I have I think it's it's um a very good moment and it, and, I, and I find it exciting you know if I if I can help young players um achieve the the dream that they want to achieve and and I could be a part of that I, I find it exciting um so I'm looking forward to that um but of course if I, if I look back on my career it's you know is it harder that or this it's I don't know. It, it's like I say, I'm incredibly grateful for what I've had. Of course, I'm sad. I've I've, I've had a lot of tears with, with my family, and it's not been an easy easy process. Um, sort of accepting, I think, is the word. Um, so, yeah, I, I'm in a place now where I still I still get emotional. I still get upset. It's because it's it's what I've always wanted to do, and I, and, and I, I don't ever want to stop. Um, but here I am. Um, I think for a while will still be difficult. I'm lucky that I, I can um, finish when I'm ready. I've got friends that have had to finish th through injuries quickly. Yeah, it's it's it's, it's difficult. It's emotional. Um, I think in time I will not get so emotional. And uh, yeah, but that, yeah. So that, that's the difference. It's more emotion and and gratefulness looking back on my career, but then also excited for for my future. Yeah, one of the greatest uh, success in, in your career was the championship in here. Oh, for sure. And um, I wonder, uh, are you happy that that you you are you are finishing your journey with football in here in Gliwice? A hundred percent is also also one of the reasons why I think now is the right time. Like that, you know, for me now to go somewhere else. Uh, uh, it wasn't really a discussion. It wasn't really a thought process that went through my head. I, I knew. When I came back from Cyprus, uh, you know, I was looking at contracts, and then when I renewed my contract for this season, uh, f f to have the opportunity to to retire at the club where I've had my my greatest football memories, my m the best moments in my career of, of um, the the changing room we had, um, playing in the European games, uh, the big Super Cup game, and of course uh, being the champions of Poland is is uh, is something that. For the rest of my life, will will be for sure the the shining light on my career. It's um, you know it's not easy to move abroad. It's not easy. You sacrifice a lot. You to to play football. I I sort of when I was growing up and leaving Motherwell when I was younger, <coughs> always had the dream of of course playing in the English Premier League. I'm from England, and you sort of realise that uh, a point comes in the career where it's decision time. You you can. You sort of go lower leagues in in your country, or try and grind your way up, which of course is is one path to take. But I decided to go the European route, and uh, Piast uh, giving me an opportunity to come, and and uh, the way it's turned out is uh, was life changing for me, was life changing for my family. Um, so is not even a doubt in my mind that it's it's my favorite moment the most success i've had was was with pia so the the opportunity to finish here is uh was is something that i will be forever grateful for And uh, moving abroad, probably uh, that was not easy decision for you, but uh, you you made a history. You are a part of history. Uh, it's it's football. It's it's about uh, making a history. Uh, yeah, making memories. Um, it's 
you know, I've, I've, I grew up in a football family with, with my, my family moving around. My, my dad was in Monaco and Milan with, with my mum and my sisters. And uh, my mum's always said about making memories in football. And it's at the end of the day, it's, it's what you take with you when you, your career. Look, we're, we're incredibly fortunate as footballers. The, you, you, you can talk about the, you know, the money and, and all that type of stuff that people earn and, and the benefits that come with, with being a professional footballer. But uh, <clears throat> I think it, the end of the day in, in years to come it's um the memories of, of looking back at, at what you achieved and, and having success and, and being able to say to my kids and um then being able to look back at old videos and photos of of i don't know of, of their dads um lifting trophy and all that type of stuff playing in big games is is for me what it is about i i, I want them to uh, i think once i had children um, it's always been about uh, like making them proud. So, yeah, for me, for me, it's, it's been about making the memories. Hello, you are happy. Hello. I saw I saw your post on Facebook. Tell yes. me, How are finally, you? or you are a little bit sad. Very sad, but also very happy. We're very proud of him. He did good, didn't he? Yeah. Yes. Okay. And we've got very special memories of Piast. And I want to ask about people uh, who you met through your career. Uh, and maybe one of your coaches or, or maybe that, that was the person who the most inspired you? Well, it's very difficult to, to point at just one, one person uh, in football. Um, if, if we're talking about directly in football, it's... <laughs> You know, I came up through an academy at, Re at Reading where Eamon Dolan was, was the head of the academy. Um, he sadly passed away now and he installed things into me that, you know, he, he made me the captain of the youth team and installed these, these things in me that today I will still never forget and uh, about cutting corners and training and, and all these type of things and in the warm ups, making sure you go around the cones, don't cheat yourself because you, if you do it once, you'll do it all the time and those type of things. And then, Going on through my career, every coach at, at different clubs has given me different things. I had Jim Gannon at Motherwell gave me my first professional game. Uh, and then Stuart McCall, Craig Brown, all these top managers that I've had the, the pleasure to play for. Um, all, again, bringing me different things and, and helping me develop as a football player and as a person, which, which was important for me. Um, and, and, and also in Poland with uh, Levy gave me the chance to come to Wrocław and uh, Tana Pawłowski in, in Wrocław was, was one of the best people I've met. We had a big language problem, but uh, we, um, I could still feel that was, was a very good person. Um, it's, it's too many to mention, to be honest with you, and obviously coming then to, to, to Piast, um, in, in having some great memories with, with Tana Fonalik, um, again, the, the memories that I'll never forget, and, and he was the coach. Uh, so, um, and now with with Trenov Vukovic, we, we, you know, we, everybody has brought so many different things. It's, it's very easy to sit here and say my dad, um, because of the career he had, the um, the advice he could give to me, um, all that type of stuff is obviously invaluable. Growing up, the the mindset to install in me, but then. Uh, to, to be completely honest, like all of these people in my career, but I would never have got to football without, without my mum, without my sisters. They are the ones that um, took me to trainings when I was eight years old, eight years old to 15 every day at Chelsea, at Reading. Um, my mum standing out in the snow, taking me to trainings in the week. My sisters doing all their homework in the car. Like it's all these things that, people sacrifice that um yeah of course i have all the coaches to thank and my dad to thank but if it wasn't for that initial process um i, I wouldn't be i wouldn't be sitting here i wouldn't have lifted a trophy um and and of course my, my wife is is like i say she she moved we met when i was 14 at school um and you know football has 
Football has a lot of highs, has a lot of lows. Um, and yeah, w without my wife traveling around with me for 17 years, this, this is impossible. So, Im impossible. So, um, look, I'm, I'm forever grateful to everybody that's, that's helped me. So, a lot of people, a lot of people. What would you say to Tom? Um, I'm very proud of him. <laughs> okay, and happy that he's coming back home. Yes. <laughs> okay. A big day for Tom, a day to celebrate Tom for all he's done, yeah, a long, long time. Well, you are happy and proud of him or do you want he wants to play more? He'd love to play forever, but you can't. You can't play football forever, but it's been a great career. Uh, I am Tom's father-in-law and he has been exceptional. He loves Piast. We came when they won the Premiership and uh, we had a fantastic time then and we watched the results back in England every week. Yeah, he's been, he's done very well, yeah, he's, he's been very happy here and he's sad to leave but uh, it's a new chapter. But mainly he's uh, sad because he's had a brilliant 18 year career, always in the Premiership in Scotland, Polish in Cyprus. Yes, Polish champion. Polish champion. That was a very exciting time. Yeah, and also your friends like, like Buddy who came here to to, 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 to finish uh, your journey with you, to, to say goodbye. Well, of course, you, you meet, for, you played with hundreds of players. I played with hundreds of players across uh, 19 years full time in football. And you, you have a, you're not always going to get on with everybody. You're not always going to be best friends with everybody. It's impossible. You're in a change room full of, full of different personalities, but you meet people along the way. Baddy's a great example that you gel with, you're good friends with. You meet with the families out of football. You, you know, we, we go on holiday together. We went to the pizza after we were champions with with a, with a few of the boys. And uh, yeah, you meet people along the way that um, also help 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 living abroad as well. Like it, it's not easy always moving abroad. He knows how it was moving, and yeah, you, you meet great people along the way that will be friends friends forever. So. Is, is one of the big the big um, perks, if you like, of, of playing playing football and especially playing in Europe, meeting people from all over the world. And um, I'm incredibly fortunate, Baddy being one that 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 I will will keep in touch with. Rozumiesz, co czuje Tom? Bardzo, bardzo. Co czuje Tom? Co czuje taki zawodnik wtedy? Na pewno dziwne się dziwne się czuje, bo ani zadowolony, ani zły, taki. No, jest teraz w innej planety, wiesz, w innej świat teraz. Toma, jestem tutaj specjalnie na niego, bo, bo oprócz, że graliśmy razem no, tyle lat, jest mój bardzo dobry kolega i musiałem tutaj być. Yeah, nobody loves this name. Miguel Indurain, do you know? Miguel Indurain. I don't even know what you're saying. Again? Okay. We're talking about what's the football? Miguel Indurain. No, I don't know. Yeah, yeah, I know. Stay sport and I will tell you. Football player. Skiing. Football player. Ah, Who is the football player? 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 Hey, that's your roommate. That is your roommate. He doesn't even know your name. Yeah, I, I, I can see it's, it's a lot of emotion for you. Yeah, it's hard. Like it's, it's it's all I've ever wanted to do. So you know, as excited as I am for the future, and uh, and I can't wait to to get going with that now. Still, when uh, I sit and I talk about it, it's hard. It's hard. It's uh, it's, it's it's not just like tears of uh, it's not just tears of sadness. It's 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 a lot of joy. It's a lot of gratitude. Like when I talk about my wife and and my mum and all that type of stuff, it's like. It's the, the gratitude you feel towards people, you know, it's, it's uh, the appreciation of, of everything that's gone into it from everybody. Like it's not, um, I'm an emotional person anyway. So for me, it's, I knew that uh, I would find it difficult at this time, but I've got good people around me um, prepared for the future. And yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm in a good place. I want to thank you, Tom, for the whole career in my name, but also in the name of whole cast for these three years and congratulations and have a good luck in the in the future the the pleasure was all mine for sure like um i've, I've thank you but it's it's like the really the pleasure is all mine i've it's it's like i say you've uh, enabled me to live a part of my dream of being a professional footballer um, and piast being the biggest part of that so thank you